Good evening. My name is Maya Silva. Although, uh, when I first came to Southern Lakes, I was Maya Matthews. And so, to cut down on confusion and paperwork, I'll be honest, um, I've kept the name Matthews just for the kids. Um, but I co conduct, as you saw, the Camerata Orchestra, and then I also conduct the Philharmonia Orchestra, which is uh, the one you see here, and the following orchestra is the Lyrical Orchestra. I also conduct that one. Um, I wanted to elaborate just a little bit more on our theme of Russia uh, for this evening. Um, as we auditioned the kids last year, we assigned each of them into the ensemble that was appropriate for them. Um, and then when we got to the end, we were shocked to see how big the Philharmonia and Lyrical Orchestras had gotten. Um, the Lyrical Orchestra is 43, I think, this year, and Phil is 60 plus. So that is a lot of kids to be conducting at the same time. Um, and the big concern was programming. What do you program for groups this large? Something uh, has to allow for obviously over the top dynamics, um, a lot of passion, a lot of chaos, something epic, it has to be epic. And um, that means no Mozart, no Haydn, no none of those guys. Um, so I was unsure about what to program, and I relied on my personal experience and my very favorite composer and my very favorite piece um, I learned about in my junior year in high school when I went to Allstate and we played Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony, which is glorious. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it. Uh, but that's not written for string orchestra, so that was out. Um, but I did want to find something by Tchaikovsky, so I started there, and I went to YouTube and I found this little gem of an allegro uh, for piano and strings, uh, and you'll see us play that with Annie and, and Lyrica. Uh, and then I came across one other piece of Tchaikovsky that I, I decided not to play, but I found that on the second page of the score, he had written, uh, the larger the string ensemble, the better the, uh, the ensemble will be, will be able to fit the composer's desires. So I said, I got a big string ensemble, so I'm gonna either find Tchaikovsky, or I'm gonna find his countrymen, or I'm gonna find his contemporaries. Um, and so I had a lot of fun researching these pieces, and I came up with the oldest of the group, um, Sasson, who is really a lot of fun, all the way down to the youngest, um, and controversial Dmitry Shostakovich, who is uh, tons of fun to play. Um, I had a great time picking those pieces out, listening to them, and I've had an even better time, though slightly more stressful, uh, teaching them to your children. Um, and I think you'll agree, especially from our last piece with this group, uh, which is Gliere's Russian Sailor's Dance, that they really uh, sunk their teeth into it and went with it. Um, and so I'm so proud of them, and I'm very happy that you guys are here, and I really hope that you guys will enjoy listening to them. So without further ado, our Philharmonia Orchestra.